Hello and welcome. I'm the Restless Kaiser. And I'm Johnny B. But together we are Modeling for Advantage. Advantage. So this is the first in a series of short videos where we're exploring the starter sets available for Warhammer 10th edition on launch. Lovely. This video, we're going to have a look at that one. What's it called, that one? This is the introductory set, to see. The introductory set. So this is so £40 pounds retail. This is the cheapest of them. £40. Pounds. Um, this is different to the recruit edition we got last time. I think this is very much aimed at total beginners in the hobby. Well, John messes around with a sharp blade. Hopefully there'll be no blood. Oh, you know, it's entertaining if there's blood, I don't know it? if it's sharp. It's not sharp. But... Yeah, it's a cheap blade for opening packages and things. Okay. All right, so it's carefully revealed, um, removing the packaging. So, wonderful tray. Ooh. Wonderful tray. What does, it, what does it reckon we get in here? Does it even have contents? Does it even have content? Well, I guess it shows you a picture of them. It just shows you a picture. Oh, no, it does actually say here, contents uh, in very small <laughs> letters down the bottom. 16 Citadel miniatures, <laughs> of which five are the new Infernus Marines. You get 10 of the new Sculpt Termagants and a single Ripper Swarm. Plus, you get the handbook. You get clippers in here. That's yes. cool. You get a starter brush, five paints, six dice, a range ruler, and a playing mat. So that's already so It's very good. different from the Recruit Edition. As it's £40 because this has got some hobby stuff in it. Yeah. So That's good. So let's, let's, get, get let's get it out. Lovely. Let's get it out. Bit at a time. Let, Lovely let manual. Lovely manual. And, and that is a nice... That's a quality... Do for mate. Yeah, I'm looking, for that. I'm looking at that. So it is a good quality publication for, for something that's kind of like a, a, a bit throwaway. Yeah. But it also, it's got these coloured tabs, and I remember that from like the Conquest magazine. Oh, this so looks a that. lot like, yeah, these same kind of coloured uh, banners to organise the information you have build, paint, play. Well, it even tells you. That tells you. This really that. is good for this. So the one game. manual little thing. The the ubiquitous like photograph of somebody rolling dice and smiling. Are they actually broke? Yes, yeah, they are. Yeah, and they're, they're, it's obviously there's a lady in the picture. Yes. Um, build instructions. So that this is a good quality publication because this could just be a few loose leaf sheets of paper, right? It could very well it be, but well it's be. not. Next. Next is the play mat by the looks of it. Mm. Oh, and you get a free piece. Um, Greaseproof paper for your wet palette. For your wet palette. Which you haven't got. So this is always good, right? We always judge a starter set by its Including paper a play mat. mat. I think for absolute beginners, it's I shiny, think paper play mat. It is shiny. It's also standard size. St is this the it's standard kill size? team size play yes, mat. Yes, it is, mat. yeah. Yeah. You've got like this industrial side, not that you can really see because of the gleam, and, and it's, it's double sided. sided. Yeah. That's exciting. That right. is exciting. So that's, that, that's, that's good. a nice, good quality. I'm not going to fold that. I'm going to put gonna that down there that. for now. All right. Ooh, some seeds. Some seeds. That's not a packet of seeds, John. It's not a packet you can work out what it is. This is the dice. Ooh, this is the dice. Okay. So rather than coming in like a Ziploc bag or something, I doubt their quality. I mean, they're not cracker dice per se, but. No, they're not. They're, um, is this 12 mil? 12 mil. 12 yeah. mil. All right. They're better quality than the ones they've got. They've got, they got a bit more them. weight to them. Yeah, they're not cracker dice. Not weighted dice. But no, 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 no. Weightier. No. Okay, Quite so you've got your dice. That's perfect. Heavy. Bases, naturally. For the, for the miniatures. Paints, mate. Equally spaced. Equally spaced in there with a whole paintbrush. <laughs> Yes, that's oh. one of them Citadel starter brushes. Oh, you could paint some pro eyeballs with that one. <laughs> Mate, yeah. You're, you're certainly going to get you so far, that is. But, and then we've got our sprues. Yes. So, termagants. So that is the standard 10 termagants. Yes, that's how that's it comes. That's the same yeah, you as get you get in the, in the, in the well. other set. Um, and we can show you those in a minute, Bill. Mm -hmm. Carry on. Uh, clippers. Clippers, nice. Always good to have. And are they unbranded, it seems. Unbranded? No, just oh, no, it does no, say so just can't oh, read. Yeah, well, it's a pair of Citadel clippers. This is always good. And your five flamey doofer marines. Very nice. A single sprue. That's all right. Intercessors with flamers. Yeah, whatever they're called. Uh, yeah, flame dudes. Paints, mate. You get purple. Ultramarines, blue, because naturally they have to be ultramarines. <laughs> so, uh, this looks grey, but it's not. This is the fleshy colour for the underside of them. Wraithbone, and that says that's a base color. Is that Abaddon black? It would seem to be. Macrag blue for your ultramarines. Standard. 
What's this? Purple. Nagrath Knight. Purple. Yeah, it's a purpley blue. And then that is, that a brown is or Balthazar a... Gold. All oh, right. So that's for the trim on your Ultramarines. Yes. That's for the shoulder pad yep. trim. Any of the maternity of these. Are... That's good. So you get to have a little go at doing a bit of painting. And what There's also what looks to be a piece of terrain included. Mm. Uh, and, and cut out tokens and things for tokens. objectives. And yeah. this turns into a crate by the looks of it. You just cut it out yes, and fold it. you cut it out and fold it. This. Well, I never. That That is nice. And whoop, we missed it. Of course, the, the ruler. ruler. So, 40 squid diddlies. Compared to... So, compared to previous times, the miniature count in here for £40 in a starter set is low. Yeah, I guess so. The previous edition, it was, it was maybe £10 less than this. And it had the same number of miniatures. But the world has changed since then. But the world has changed. And there was a hero in there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely everything's gone on. But for absolute beginners into the hobby... I think it's quite well focused. I think, I think it's good. Now, there is something critically missing here. Uh, players. Glue. Oh. There's no glue here. Are these push-fit... Miniatures. You just built a lot of them, John. Are they I did. I'm miniatures? trying to think if they were. I think they might have been. I'm pretty sure I I'm glued seeing them. Sock yeah, I'm sure you did glue them. But I'm looking at pins on arms. Yeah, these look like push-fit miniatures to me. What's it say in the book? The lavishly silky smooth book. So we double check the book? They are all pegged. These are push-fit miniatures. Now, oh, if, you, if you're a pro gamer, you're going to glue these. Yeah. You, you know, if, you, if you're serious about your model making. Um, so actually, that. the fact that there isn't glue in uh, this But I relevant. suspect glue is more of a controlled substance uh, in terms of putting it in boxes. Yeah, and selling it, it to small children. And selling it to small children and yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the inclusion of a pair of clippers is great. Because you, know, you need you, that. You absolutely need that. So for a total beginner, I think this is a great... Like, you know, your nephew wants to play Warhammer... Um, and it does have at the back, it's got these, you know, a series of simple missions which are going to teach you how to move. Training scenario one. Training scenario one. Shooting. Yeah. Boom. Can we play there these like we did the other ones? Tyranids turn, Space Marine saving throw. It, step it, by it, step. Step by step takes you the dozen out. It's only going to take you so far. I think for what it is, I think this is great. Yeah, it's a pretty comprehensive starter set um, for Games Workshop. That's really good. And for your first attempt at painting you models... You get some paints. But you get the ones you need. Well, yeah. You're not going to get the same effect as the ones on no. the model, but you have got the base colours yeah, you can, that have been used <laughs> you on the box. You get some colours on them. So you get some colours on them, get used to your brushwork. I think this is really good. If you just wanted to pad out your miniatures collection, mm. this is a terrible choice. Yeah. This is not aimed at gamers uh, bulking out their collections. But for total beginners, Perfect. I think it's brilliant. Yeah, right well down done. to the right down to the um, the paintbrush. Yeah, yeah, epic. If you're still here and you're looking for ways to support the channel, there's obviously a lot of ways down in the description. But a key way is to use our affiliate links to Whaling Games and others. You buy your models from them; it doesn't cost you a penny more, and we earn a little bit of commission. Thank you.